Hi there. Uh, my name is Brody Johnson with MCFC, and I'm speaking with Ross Waddell from Primal MKE. Nice. Well, how are you, Ross? Uh, how's the day been so far? It's been good. You know, I've been uh, training pretty much all day, and then I had my regular job I had to do. So it's uh, it's been going good, man. That's pretty much every day I, I, uh, I'm training. So it's just repeating that same day every single every single day, six days a week. It's mm -hmm. uh, It's tough, but I love it. One day at a time. Yep. One yep. day at a time. So, <laughs> so, uh, certain MMA, you know, uh, classes and stuff like that, jujitsu one day, you know, sparring one day, whatever, what'd you do today? So I do, I, I train everything, you know, I try and do everything every day. Um, I'm lifting about five days a week. Okay. Uh, I do that pretty much in the morning. Uh, and then evenings, usually after I'm done with my work, I'm, uh, I'm going doing my MMA stuff. Usually I'll, I'll do jujitsu and then I'll do striking um we usually do have pretty our tougher practices are on tuesday thursday saturdays and it, it's it's a dog fight man we got some dogs in there and we're we're going at it every single fucking day so i'm i'm excited for this i've been putting in the work i've had some teammates who are going to be fighting on this card they're putting in some work and i think it's going to be a really good show nice that's all, that's good to hear man i can yeah. tell you really really pumped up you're one of the more pumped up guys i've been talking to today nice oh yeah you know, it, 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 when you're, when you're suffering every yeah. single day, you know, it, it changes something up here and you know, you don't, uh, I guess fear goes out of the window, you know, it, it, mm -hmm. it kind of goes out of the window when you do this every single day mm -hmm. and it's like, oh man, I got to go to the gym. I got to spar this guy who's way better than me, or I got to roll with this guy who's way better than me. You know, that, that fear, that feeling of, of fear and, and doubt within yourself goes away. Cause you're mm -hmm. pushing yourself to be better every single day. Mm -hmm. Well, it's nice that you said that too, you know, like guys that are better than me because yeah. there's so many guys that get stuck, you know, in, in, in whatever level of MMA, it just kind of doing the same old thing or the same old sure. partners. And, it, you know, I wrestled for a little bit and it's not like I've done anything close to MMA, but you yeah. just get used to guys, even if, you know, they could be, you could be not the best wrestler in the world and he could be a, a state champ. But if you're in the room with him long enough, you just kind of, pick up little things, you know, but oh, yeah. that's not going to help you when you wrestle just, you know, the, the next day, uh, the the next, you know, state champ you, you know, finally run into or something like that. Yeah. You know, you got to, you got to surround with yourself with people who are better than you. And I think, you know, mm -hmm. this can go in, in any sport and, you know, I think any aspect of life, of you know, you got to surround yourself with people who are better than you. That's the only way you're going to grow. If you want if you want to be satisfied with being complacent and where you are in life, then, you know, keep doing what you're doing, you know, right. but, um, that's not my goal. You know, I'm, I'm here to be the best fighter, the best individual, the best human being that I can be. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it, it's, it's awesome, man. I love this game. Uh, I'm, I loved ever since I started it. So it's going to be fun. Nice. Well, so, you know, you obviously fired up, um, and you obviously take this very seriously. Well, what do you think about your opponent? You obviously, I, I can't imagine you, you're looking past them. Oh, no. Uh, so, I mean, uh, my coach said he was 0-1. I can't remember his name, but I'm treating mm -hmm. this guy like a UFC prospect, man. I'm mm -hmm. I'm giving him all the respect in the world. I think he's going to go out. I know that, you know, in my mind, this guy's training really fucking hard. Uh, I'm training hard. We're going to get in there. It's 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 going to be a show. Um, but uh, I come out victorious. That's mm -hmm. how it is. And, you know, respect to this guy for getting in the cage. You know, it, it takes some balls to get in there. It really does. But if you put some food between me and another man, I'm taking that food. Ain't no man in this world I will back down from. Like UFC, I don't care. Like accolades, whatever. It, that does not matter to me. When we get in there, it's you versus me, and I'm picking me every day of the week. Oh, man. Oh, that's awesome. You, you really, <laughs> really believe in yourself. So what do you think you're you know, going to do to them? Or, well, what kind, of, what kind of goals? You know, You're the type of guy I could tell that sets stuff. Like I can imagine you kind of want to get stuff done by April 27th. Is there certain things you got on your mind every day besides just getting better? Or is there, you know, some guys say specifically like, Oh, I want to get better at this. at camp because I could really use this, you know, food for thought. Yeah. I mean, I don't, uh, you know, fights are so dynamic and they can, yeah. they're ever changing. You know, I, uh, I don't really have anything like, Oh, I'm going to plan to do this or I'm going to plan yeah, to course. do that. I'm going to read the situation and based off what he's given me or what mm -hmm. the situation is giving me, I'm going to make those reads and I'm going to capitalize on that. 
you know, it's kind of hard to really plan for a guy. It's own one, you know, you don't really got much besides what the coach say, what it says. Yeah. It's, it's tough in the amateur game. I mean, a lot of guys don't have film, don't have mm -hmm. experience. So it's really hard to get a gauge of who your opponent is, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a dark figure to me, you know, mm -hmm. that I, after well, however this fight happens, I'm going to fight again. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be the same thing. You know, it's a dark figure. That's, that's who it is. And I, I'm always see that dark figure is, is me battling myself. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I love this sport, man. It's, it, it really brings the dog out in you, you know, mm -hmm. you gotta, it, it makes you the better, you, you gotta be a better person every single day. You gotta just grow and, and be the best person that you can be the best fighter that you can be. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I've really gained a lot from this. So Mm -hmm. I'm thankful. Well, see, well you're, see, you seem, you, like I said, very goal oriented and like a straight trugging along kind of guy. Is there, is there anything you do to kind of like unwind at home, maybe watching MMA or something like that, you know, maybe watching boxing to pick up little things. Like what do you yeah. do at home for fun? You know, maybe we were talking about old fights before we got on here. Like, well, yeah, what, what do you do? Yeah, dude, I, I love watching fights on UFC. You know, I, I was watching the UFC Mexico event, uh, mm -hmm. great event. Great, a lot great of event. guys fought really hard in that. Yeah. Um, that you know, little ankle was a little bit much. Oh my! Yeah, God. I was, I was like, ooh, oh. that that could change something. But you know what? He was, and, and that's another thing. I looked at that Ortega and Rodriguez fight, and it's mm -hmm. like Ortega, you know, is getting his ass beat in the first round, yeah. and he comes back in the second. You know, mm -hmm. that's the underdog and I've been an underdog my entire life, so I can respect that. Mm -hmm. And I, I, you know, just seeing stuff like that, you know, there, there's so many underdog stories in this game too. And and that's another reason why I love this sport, man. It's, mm -hmm. it's awesome. Somebody, somebody said a long time ago, and I don't know who it was, but it was uh, MMA sports or combat sports is soap opera for men. Sure. It's so true because like, if you know all about like Ryan Ortega's, you know, past three years and just like the bullshit with Brian, I mean, with Yair, the first fight and, you know, pulling, yeah. pulling your arm out and separate it. And then he had like four surgeries after that. And, you know, you had, he was dating a, a UFC fighter and then they broke up publicly and the yep. chief fight in the front row. Like that is just, <laughs> and that then put you some pressure on you. Yeah. And then you roll yeah. your ankle in the middle of it on live TV in the middle of Mexico city, you know, God yeah. knows how high elevation crazy. Yeah. Talk, talk about unfortunate, man, but uh, he, he got the job done and he pulled through. So mm -hmm. all the respect to him. What a head and arm, huh? Oh yeah, dude. I, I, yeah, it's a, it was a unique one. I'm like, you know, he could maybe try and take his back or right. go for an arm bar, but I'm like, dude, you know what? He's got that pretty deep in. I, I think he should yeah. just go for it. <laughs> well, and you know, I'm not, I've, I've only done a little bit of jujitsu, but it seemed like Ayer could kind of get out of it because the way he kind of rolled into himself, you know, how you kind of yeah. get an angle, but then with the, we didn't get to see with the camera and we just kind of missed the tap. But I thought, you know, just, just because we've seen Yair kind of just get a little bit better. So it was surely, especially ground game wise, I just kind of sure. figured he'd be able to get out of it, but no. Yeah. I mean, kidding. you look at the Max Holloway fight, he even got taken down there. Yep. Um, so that did raise some concerns. I mean, he obviously is growing as a fighter and doing mm -hmm. all that, but that definitely raises con some, some concerns. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, those black belts, man, I, I've, I've <laughs> rolled with them. They got some, they got some tricks and unique, uh, unique things of their own that they do to either, you know, close the space on those chokes or yeah. find some way to chain it to another attack. But it, it's, a, it's always good to go against those guys just mm -hmm. to see that, but mm -hmm. seeing it in an actual UFC, UFC event is pretty cool. Yeah. And nowadays you got like in the realm of jiu-jitsu guys that are really attacking like the bottom half. So then it's oh, yeah. completely different. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> completely different. Yeah. It's so, so crazy. It's nice. Dude, to, <laughs> it's nice to watch a great, a good, as good of a card as we watch in Mexico. And sure. it, you know, if you told your dad or something like that, who was probably a UFC fan 15 years ago, he wouldn't recognize like anybody in the card, but pretty much the whole card, just an absolute banger. Yeah. Maybe. And honestly, that's what another thing, like I'm, I'm watching these other sports too. Like you watch basketball, football, mm -hmm. et cetera. Like all these sports, they're continuing to grow. Players are getting better. Players are getting more athletic. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with MMA. Guys are getting better. Like if you look mm -hmm. at the sport 10 years ago compared yeah. to when it was today, yeah. like it, it's a mm -hmm. huge gap. You Especially know? athletically, because now we're getting oh, like yeah. the Yoel Romero's, 
the Tyron Woodleys. Like we're getting like the freaks of all freaks, you know. Like yeah. Kayla Harrison's gonna make her debut pretty soon. You're like, she's a what was it? Was it multiple gold medals? I think she got in judo. I'm like, that's yeah. Like, and then Henry Cejudo, you know, gold medal. Like, so it's just so crazy. Like you, yeah. Like the best athletes in the world is gonna be well, not in the world, but you know, like United States and stuff is gonna be basketball and, and NFL. But if we finally start getting those guys, dude. <laughs> well, we got John Jones, so I yeah. mean. Yeah. yeah, well, he was even the run to the litter compared to his his brothers. Oh, is, yeah. That, which is crazy. crazy. Mm-hmm. That family just has crazy genetics, dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I wish I could have some of those. Oh, yeah. Well, no, it, it wouldn't be a bad deal to be 6'7", you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm probably be playing basketball or something yeah, right yeah, now yeah, if I were that tall. Maybe not hopping <laughs> on a plane, though. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, probably that one. <laughs> Well, we're we'll probably gonna we're probably gonna be closing up here right now. Um, sure. is there anybody you'd like to thank or anything anything you'd like to say before we get going? You know, I thank my team, thank my family, thank God every single day for this life I live, and I'm um, gonna get the victory. I'm gonna bring home, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna finish this guy. Oh, that's awesome! Well, I can't wait to talk to you again, uh, and I can't wait oh, to yeah. see you April 27th, buddy. Hell yeah, appreciate it, Brody. Oh, yeah, you have a good rest of your day, man. You too. Yeah. All right. Bye bye.